in this 16th session of Look at the Book on Romans 8, we're going to focus on one verse and the massive reality of the witness of the Spirit. So, Father, I pray that all of us who are focusing on this together would experience uh, a more deep, wonderful working of the Spirit, bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Uh, Let's just pick it up maybe here at verse 14. All who are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. So if you're led by the Spirit, you are a child of God. And the reason for that is that you did not receive, God did not give you a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but he gave you, you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. So when you receive the Holy Spirit, He works within you to produce this cry of Abba, Father. And now he describes, or he puts a name on that. He says what what was happening in verse 15. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So now what is this experience? And I've got at least... uh, Three things that I think are in this text to describe this. What is it to experience the witness of the Holy Spirit? The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Because this is what we want. This is what Paul wants us to have. God wants us to have. He wants us to have assurance. This is assurance here. This is experiential experiential assurance of salvation, the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So the first thing it means is right here in verse 15. When you receive the spirit of adoption as sons, he produces this cry of Abba, Father. So it's not just vain, empty words. I think this word cry here is very important. Anybody can say Abba, Father. You can program a computer to say Abba, Father. That, that's no evidence that the computer is a child of God, right? The evidence that you're a child of God is that from the heart, there rises up this cry. So it is heartfelt, it is deep, it is real, it is authentic. That's why the word cry is used. And it is expectant. It is looking to God as a father who is tender and strong and kind and meets our needs and takes away our fears and supplies all we need forever and eternal salvation. So in this word Abba and in this word cry is the the two-sided experience of the witness, the witness of the Holy Spirit with our spirit. The from our side it's a cry that's heartfelt and deep and authentic. And from God's side, he is being appealed to as a a tender, kind, intimate, loving father who has done everything in Jesus Christ to make this adoption possible. So that's the first meaning of the witness of the Spirit. It's It's not a voice whispering in your ear, you are the child of God, when there's no evidence in your heart or in your life that you're the child of God. Rather, it's a life changing work of the Holy Spirit in your heart, producing a a profound, deep, authentic cry to God as your Father. It's one who, who humbles himself and says, I need a Father. I need a caregiver. I need somebody to take away my, my fear. And that change of heart, that, that making us into childlike people, unless you turn to become like a child, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's the witness of the Holy Spirit. The witness of the Holy Spirit is the work of the Holy Spirit making us into those who cry, Abba, Father. Here's the second thing. If you go back up here to verse um, 13, if by the Spirit... So this is the Spirit who's testifying, giving evidence that we are the children of God. If you put to death, put to death the deeds of the body by the Spirit, you will live. Why? Because all who are thus led by the Spirit are the sons of God. So a second way that the Holy Spirit testifies 
not verbally, but by his powerful action, who we are as the children of God is he puts it in our heart to put to death the deeds of the body. So here it is um, a, a, a sweet, humble, love for our Father and our dependence on Him. And here it is a, a hatred for our sin and a desire to kill it. So the two evidences so far of what it is to have the Holy Spirit witnessing that, that we are the children of God is, number one, his production of a deep change in our heart that makes us humble and childlike so that we cry to our Abba Father. And secondly, he transforms our hearts so that we hate the sin that uh, produces the deeds of the body which are sinful and makes us make war on it and hate it. So if you find hatred for your sin rising up in your heart and you find a, a desperate childlike dependence on God as your father rising up in your heart, this is the witness of the Holy Spirit in your life. And the third thing I would say is to reach down here and get this word Christ. If we have the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, then we are heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, because Christ is the key here. When the Helper comes, Jesus says, the Holy Spirit, whom I will send you from the Father, I'll send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness of me. So all this work of the Holy Spirit back here testifying that we are the children of God is through Jesus Christ. You, you don't become a child of God apart from Jesus Christ, which, which takes us back to these verses by way of conclusion here. So here we are at the beginning of the chapter, and remember the relationship between verses 1 and 2 and verses 3 and 4 show that the coming of the Holy Spirit into our life, producing the evidences that we are the children of God, is based upon our not being condemned, but rather sin being condemned in the flesh of Jesus. In other words, the, the work of Christ in God's condemning our sin in his flesh is in order that we might have or walk according to the Spirit and thus experience the witness of the Spirit. It's all rooted in the work of Christ in bearing our sin. Or the same thing here. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus, and here's the evidence for it, namely that the Spirit of life is freeing you from the law of sin and thus giving evidence that you are the child of God. So the the testimony of the Spirit is his working in us to cause us to uh, say from the heart, Abba, Father. And secondly, it's helping us to put to death the deeds of the body by the Spirit, making us hate sin. And thirdly, it's all rooted in Jesus Christ who died for us so that the Spirit could be poured out into our lives.